guys, welcome back to my channel. My hair is like totally Hermione Granger status right now. I don't know what is happening. I have like 15 bobby pins on each side trying to hold everything down, but at any moment now, it could combust. So, just a warning. Anyways, I noticed that I got my Ipsy bag in the mail today, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. But first, can we just take a moment and appreciate this shirt. Oh my gosh, look, look at these, look at these. Sorry, not sorry. I am so excited. I have not seen Deadpool 2 yet, but hopefully today we'll, we'll be going to see it. I'm, I'm not sure yet, but I'm so excited. So excited. Anyways, let's just jump straight into this month's Ipsy bag. The first item that is actually in the packaging, not in the bag, is this guy and this is the 111 skin harley street london i don't know um i guess that's the brand and this is the rose gold brightening facial treatment mask and this is a rose gold mask like specifically what and it's brightening i definitely need it because i was recently in the sun like for several days and now my face is just like and i have like dark spots everywhere and especially around like this whole area it's just so dark i think that's where like my hat stopped covering my face so it's just like dark here and i look like i have a beard now so this is going to come in handy <laughs> i will update in the description box below when i do use this and i will let you guys know what i think about it so this is this month's bag and I actually already took a sneak peek inside so I kind of already know what's going to be inside but the bag itself is actually really cute. Um, I wish I had looked at it before I went to um, for a vacation because like it's like all like traveling stamps everywhere and you know just goes with the theme of traveling so this would have been perfect to bring along my trip. But either way, it is so cute. So the theme for this month is go there. So I guess that's why they have the traveling theme. So the first two items I actually already used. So let me tell you about them. This first item is this delicate skin cleansing gel and it's by MAD, M-A-D, skincare. Um, it has chamomile extract, licorice extract, and aloe vera. And I actually just used it before filming this video, um, just to see and give kind of like a first impressions. And you have to be careful when you squeeze this out because like it's like a watery gel, so like a lot comes out once you squeeze it, but um, I, I mean, I liked it. It was just a very gentle facial cleanser. Um, it doesn't have a bad smell or anything. It, it kind of reminds me of like the hotel soaps that they give you. It has that kind of smell. Um, it doesn't lather up too much, um, but there is like a very slight lather. And it did leave my skin feeling pretty clean. So yeah, I liked it. The next item is actually a nail polish and it's from Pretty Women and I think we got this brand before. This is in the shade Electric Love. This is the color, look how beautiful. And yes, that is the color that I have on my nails and my toenails today. So far so good. Uh, there's no chipping or anything. I did just apply it today, but I did also do a whole um, load of dishes and I did like four loads of laundry already so so far so good and this brand is five free cruelty free paraben free sulfate free phthalate free petrochemical free GMO free triclosan free and vegan the only thing is that the bottle itself does not have the name of the color which you know I wish it did but I'm just gonna write it on with like a sharpie or something. The next item in the bag is this eyeshadow and it's by Elizabeth Mott. The shade is called Mermaid Teal. I actually have not looked into this color yet, 
so oh okay okay this is an actual mermaidy teal very perfectly named let's try this baby out i actually already have mascara on because i totally forgot that there was an eyeshadow in this month's bag so i'm just going to apply it on the bottom Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty color. It gives that perfect pop of color for summer and I mean, it's like mermaidy, so of course I'm going to love it. My only complaint with this is that it does not have a magnet on the back, so it does not stick into my Z palette, but that's nothing that a little magnet strip can't fix. And finally, the last item in the bag is by NYX. So this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. Oh my gosh, I remember going to Ulta like a few years back, like when this was like all the hype and I really wanted Monte Carlo, but someone had opened up and used the last Monte Carlo. And this was like a super beautiful red and I was like, yes. And it was almost, it was like that winter time, so I was like, this would be perfect for Christmas. And I finally got my hands on it. I might wear this to see Deadpool. That is a bright red. Let's see. Definitely not kiss proof, but it is super, super comfortable on the lips, which I love. These aren't the best liquid lipsticks, but... They are pretty affordable, so I mean, you get what you pay for. All right, guys, so that's it for my Ipsy bag unbagging. If I were to choose my favorite items in the box, it would have to be this liquid lipstick because I love getting liquid lipsticks in my subscription boxes. And I also was really impressed by this eyeshadow. I really like it. And this nail polish is pretty awesome. I gotta admit, good day. Overall, it was a really good bag and all for 10 bucks. It's awesome. All right guys, so that's it for my Ipsy bag unbagging. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.